Diffusion is the movement of small substances from a higher to a lower concentration. Osmosis is simply the diffusion of water. In an isotonic solution, particle concentration inside and outside the cell is the same. There is no net movement of water one way or the other. In a hypertonic solution, particle concentration inside the cell is less than the outside of the cell. So water move, moves outside of the cell. In a hypotonic solution, particle concentration inside the cell is greater than outside the cell. Water moves into the cell. Facilitated diffusion is the movement of charged substances down their concentration gradient using a carrier or transport protein. This is different from normal diffusion because these charged substances must use transport proteins in order to get across the membrane. During active transport, cells must capture nutrients in low supply and transport them into the cell where there is a higher concentration. This requires a transport protein and also energy because it is moving against the concentration gradient. Endocytosis is bulk transport of substances. Phagocytosis is cell eating and pinocytosis is cell drinking. The factors that affect microbial growth are temperature, pH, oxygen, and osmotic pressure. At the optimal temperature, the cell loves to grow. Above the maximum temperature, it is too hot and the proteins denature. Below the minimum temperature, it is too cold for the cell to grow. Trying to remember these, look at the root word. Like miso, that reminds you of middle, so you think of middle temperature things like human beings. And thermo reminds you of thermostat, like the thing that keeps you hot. Acidophiles live in low pH, whereas neutrophiles live in about the middle, and alkalinophiles live in high pH. There are two types of anaerobes. There's obligate, which can have absolutely no oxygen, and there's aerotolerant, which can tolerate O2, but better with There are two types of aerobes also. There's obligate, which needs oxygen to grow, and there's facultative, which can grow in the presence or without Extremophiles live in low water concentration or high salt concentration. Remember, halo means salt and zero means dry. Symbiosis is when two organisms live together in a close partnership. Mutualism is when both mutually benefit. Commensalism is when one benefits and the other is neither harmed or benefited. Parasitism is when the host provides nutrients and a habitat. A non-symbiotic relationship is not required for survival. Synergism is when everyone benefits but is not necessary for survival. Antagonism is when members compete. Which of the following processes requires energy? Which type of organism would grow best in dry conditions with low water? In which type of solution is it likely that the cell will shrink? In which relationship are both organisms benefited?
When studying for microbiology, try to associate words with images to better help you recall on the exam.